Hello and welcome to today's video where we will be studying the regulation characteristics of an IC regulated power supply. You will be using an experimental board, circuit diagram and an observation table with graph to demonstrate the regulation percentage. To start, let's take a look at our circuit diagram. This is our circuit diagram for VNL of IC7805. According to the according to the circuit, according to this circuit diagram, we connect the experimental board circuit. The least count of voltmeter is 0.5 because 0 to 5 is 10 division. So 5.10 is equals to 0 0.5. The least count of milliameter is 2 milliampere because we fix the range of milliameter is 100 milliampere. So the total count of millimeter is 0 to 100. This is 0, this is 20, 40, 60, 80 and 100. So 0 to 20 the, divi uh, the division is 10. So 20 upon 10 is equals to 2 milliampere. So the least count of millimeter is 2 milliampere. Now we connect the circuit diagram uh, for VNL of IC 7805. First of all we connect the transformer. and this is a grounded or connected to they are internally connected the capacitor are also connected so we connect the IC 7805 this is our IC and the other terminal out terminal of IC connected to the positive terminal of millimeter uh, voltmeter sorry and the negative terminal of voltmeter is to connect to grounded so our circuit diagram our circuit connection is completed for VNL now let's turn on the power supply and measure the VNL. So we you can see that the VNL is 5 volt and our second circuit diagram for IC7805 regulatory supply this is the our second circuit diagram for IC regulation. We are going to connect the experimental board circuit according to the circuit diagram. First of all, we connect the transformer. They are internally connected. And then we connect the IC. And this we connect the milli I, I, IC output terminal to connect the millimeter positive terminal. And negative terminal of millimeter is connected to the load resistance and the positive terminal of voltmeter connected to the load resistance of one terminal and uh, and the negative terminal of the 
connected to the second terminal of load resistance and then connected to the grounded this is our connection is completed so let's turn on the power supply we can see the output voltage is constant this is because the ic regulator is regulating the voltage and keeping it constant at all time next let's vary the load using the variable registers and measure the voltage across the load v and also we write the the voltmeter reading and the milliammeter reading this is the our observation table we can write here vl and here il and the percentage regulation here and the percentage regulation formula is vnl minus vl upon vl into 100 this is our percentage regulation formula vnl is no load voltage and vl is voltage on load we can see that the voltage across the load varies with the load this is the load resistance this is 150 20 100 500 and this is the 5000 ohm we can see that the voltage across the load the load varies with the load but the output voltage remain constant and also you can see that this is the 5 volt this is because the ic regulator is compensating for the changes in load and keeping the output voltage constant now let's take at our observation table we have recorded the voltage load current and load resistance of various load we have also calculated the regulation percentage this is our observation table as we can see from the graph the regulation percentage is almost constant at all loads indicating that the ic regulator is doing an excellent job for regulating regulating the voltage thank you for watching this video and i hope it was informative please like subscribe and share the video